Hey guys, this is Brandy again with another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial will be in Photoshop and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add color to a blown out sky. So this is before image. Um, you can tell that the sky is completely blown out. And then here in the after image, I added a uh, blue sky with a little bit of a fade. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our gradient. So we're going to click right here and select gradient. And now you want to double click your gradient's color. Now click on the tab on the far left side and I'm going to choose a sky blue. So it's going to be a very, very light blue. Take it over a little bit. About right there is good. But you feel free to choose whatever color you want. So click OK. You want to make sure that the bar right here is white. Click OK. And now my style is at linear. And now I'm going to reverse the effect. So click OK. And now you want to click on your layer mask. Select Control I on your keyboard to invert the layer mask. And now I'm going to click B on my keyboard for my brush tool. And I'm going to make sure that my brush is set to white. I'm going to take my opacity all the way up to 100 and my flow is at 100%. And now I'm just going to start painting the effect back on. So right now it's going to look very uh, fake and unrealistic. So don't worry about it. We're going to fix it afterwards. Just paint it on in. Um, try your best not to, look I just did it, try your best not to get it on like um, your subject or any trees or whatever. Oops. So I'm going to erase it off with a black brush here. And then right here where I see the sky uh, peeking through the trees, I'm also going to paint it in. I'm going to change my opacity down to about 30% to paint it in. So I'm just going to click the little circle areas where I can see the sky. Looks like I got it on the balloons just a tad bit, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it because our next step we can do that. Okay, so I'm going to zoom on out and I'm going to go back and double click my gradient layer. Now I'm going to click and drag my effect. So when you click and drag, you can make it more intense or you can go up and soften it a bit. So I'm just going to kind of take it about right there seems good. Click OK. And I'll change your blending mode to multiply. And now I'm going to lower the opacity just a tad. About right there is good. So right here where I colored it in the little uh, holes on the tree, I'm going to lighten that up a bit by using a black brush. I'm going to look at before and after. It looks like I got on the tree right here. So I'm just going to erase that, erase it from the trees. That way it'll look a little, uh, a little bit more um, realistic and not painted on. Zoom out. And that's about it. So let's look at before and after. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to see any of my future tutorials, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, guys. Bye.